After the Ukrainian strike on Makievka that eliminated at least 400 Russian soldiers, the Russian propaganda claimed that the Russian strike in Kramatorsk killed 600 Ukrainian soldiers. But footages and info from the field deny Russian propaganda. The Italian journalist Daniel Ranieri visited Kramatorsk himself. He writes in Twitter. Russia allegedly killed 600 Ukrainian soldiers in dormitories 28 and 47. I'm checking the first place, dormitory 28, the missile missed the target, made a big hole in the soft terrain and didn't touch the buildings around. Checking the second place, dormitory 47, the Russian missile missed the target, again. There's a big hole in front of the building, the place is empty. That's all from Kramatorsk, writes Ranieri. And Finnish journalist Ani Kurinen, also visited the site. Russia claims it killed hundreds of Ukrainian soldiers in a missile strike on this school in Kramatorsk. I'm there and it's a bit strange that the building isn't even insulated. Locals didn't see any ambulances here in the morning either. I heard the explosions last night when this target was also hit. Large crater, possibly S-300, in front of the school. No direct hit. Military contacts visited the place in the morning and according to them the school was empty. Another missile hit in front of these old garages. I must say that at this point I trust my own observations and Ukraine statements more than the Russian Defense Ministry's claim about more than 600 dead Ukrainian soldiers. And the editor for foreign policy for the German built Julian Ropke is saying. Does anyone want to repeat the completely stupid Russian claim of 600 dead in Kramatorsk for the sake of neutrality? Honestly folks, stop being ridiculous. And from the other news, destroyed Russian Panzer S1 Sam found in Kherson region. It was expensive toy, priced at $16 million. The exact location isn't known yet. Rare video of a Ukrainian S-300 V-1 air defense system reportedly engaging a Russian Orlan-10 UAV. Ukraine's Air Command Central claims it downed an Orlan-10 in a helicopter today with S-300 V-1 systems. Low-level Ukrainian Mi-8 fire support operations, with a lot of flares. And let's finish with good news. The metal rolling plant in occupied Donetsk is on fire. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.